Hi everyone. Uh, let's say you've been accepted to the online Master of Science in Computer Science degree from Georgia Tech and you're wondering what should be your first class. If you're looking for an answer for this question, watch this video till the end and you would get my perspective into what class you should take first and how is this going to impact, you know, how your decision is going to be impacted by the class you take first. My name is Edson. I'm a student. I currently been taking classes for the past two years this is going to be my seventh class since i've been in the program and this video is for me to share my experience when i took my first class because my background in undergraduate was in computer science and i graduated with uh, from a good school i actually went for university of florida college of engineering and I did uh, computer engineering as undergraduate, I came with the program with a very high confidence that it would be something very easy and that I would just, you know, just just navigate my way around it. And my first mistake that I made is I took one of the most difficult class because I had so much confidence in myself that I would kind of be able to handle it. The name of the class is High Performance Computer Architecture. And oh my God, this class was so difficult. This class is a computer architecture class, but on steroids. I can explain to you where my mistake has been in taking this class. First, the assignment were written in C++. And if you are working as a software engineer, a big chance that you're not working in C++. Most of the job out here are Java, Go, and anything, but there's not that many C++ jobs. So here was also the red flag, right? I should not have signed up for my first class to be a C++ class. So the purpose of the class is to study how computer uh, uh, CPU works internally. You know, if you did undergraduate computer architecture, you would understand what I'm saying. And yeah, I was very confident. And unfortunately, it didn't last long before my eyes were open that uh, uh, when you have a project, you have to start working on the project very early. So the mistake I've made is waiting two weeks before the project was due and try to get the project done during the weekend. And I always end up uh, running out of time. So, so now what I've learned from that class, that super hard class was that the program was that easy and I needed to kind of like strategize how I pick up class. The first class I would recommend someone to take on the program uh, would be the easier, an easier class, right? Reason behind it is if you've been working for a while, you need to give your brain some time to get accustomed to be working more, right? After we finish working, to get accustomed to sit and read challenging paper and do challenging assignment. It takes some time for your brain to to get into that space. So the first class I would suggest to take if you have a computer science background, would be uh, computer uh, software architecture. This class is relatively easy if you know how to write software. The class pretty much you would have, I think it's four projects, and the last one would be a team project. So pretty much uh, you're going to learn how to architect software for large scale software. You're going to learn a lot of software engineering skills on it. And the assignment is not difficult. I think it's a moon lower assignment. You have a robot and then you're trying to clean moon. So by taking this class, right, you get uh, to easily ease yourself into, uh, into the program. The commitment is not as big compared to other classes. And it's doable. A second class, again, that I found relatively easy is computer networking. Uh, if you, it's very interesting too. Not only it's easy, it's very interesting. If you ever wonder how computer network works and all of the ins and out of computer networking, this is going to be a good class for you. 
On the computer networking class, they teach you all of the layer of the TCP IP stack. And also you get to play with, uh, with different, uh, this is a different technology. Most of the class is in Python, so you would have to familiarize yourself with Python. However, the assignments are not very difficult. And one thing very important that would be really helpful to you throughout the entire program is to do the lit code, uh, data structures and algorithm. You need to review these because a lot of classes use those data structures and algorithm under the hood. And when you're reading the code for the assignment, if you're always familiar with some of those data structure and algorithm, it's going to make your life way easier. So even before thinking about what first class you should take, I think the best place to start is to go on lead code and do their data structures and algorithm uh, courses. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find them on the screen. And if you go to tree, binary tree, binary search tree, those those data structure is a foundation where you would find them in many classes and sometimes they don't even mention them on the classes so you would be reading the code and you wouldn't be able to understand what's going on in the code but having reviewed those data structures and algorithm it will make your class way very easy for example in computer networking we had to implement something called a spanning tree uh, it's minimum spanning tree right so if you don't know what a tree is, then it's gonna be hard for you to even understand how to implement it. And I don't think the class spent time talking about trees. So that's that should be the first thing you need to do, it would be to sit down and review the data structures and algorithm. And if you need a class to take, first I would suggest you to take either computer software architecture because the time commitment and the concept on that class doesn't require a lot of hours to masters in another class you would take again that's very easy to navigate would be uh, would be computer networking because it's easy and the homework assignment are not as hard and the concept are very easy and don't do like me I was so confident that first class I failed it I got a D for it right but this didn't d d discourage me. I think I got the bad grade for that class, not because uh, it was, first it was hard, but it was because I was so confident in myself that I didn't put the amount of effort that I needed to put in order to get a good grade on it. And now, I mean, by after taking multiple class, my grade is really good. But that was a uh, eye-opening for me because I think if I didn't make that mistake in the first semester, I would not have known how much time would have been required for the program. I hope this kind of gives you perspective in terms of the class that you should take in the beginning. Also one thing to consider, there are multiple, uh, there are multiple track and I'm on the computing system track. So the first class that I took might be different for someone who is taking machine learning which might have something else that is easier for them. So this is another thing you need to consider. Uh, I hope this video bring value to you. Uh, if you have any question, I usually answer those questions in my comment. So go ahead, drop me a comment, ask me any question about my experience in your online Master of Science program, and I'll definitely share it with you. Thank you. Bye.